Hello, who's there? It's me, isn't it? Me who? Oh no, not me. What am I doing here? I knew this would happen. But I thought it would happen when I was 19, not when I was in my prime. You know what this means, don't you? All right, calm down. Yeah, someone's done a prequel. Brilliant. Yes, as I thought, Oz, the Great and Powerful is a sequel prequel to The Amazing... Oh, hey, previous me, I'll do this bit. Well, yes, it's about the old fella at the end of Wizard of Oz, appearing as a young man in this second film, which is meant to be the film before that film, which is made 74 years ago, sort of. Ah, oh, getting a headache. Your magic is the only thing strong enough to save us all. He's a stage magician, but they think he's real. <laughs> Morons. Or is it Munchkins? No. Take five. I love putting the bins out. What an idiot I was. The innocence of youth. Still, what an idiot. We all know the 1939 masterpiece of the golden years of Hollywood, but it wasn't actually the original. Numerous silent versions were first and took some liberties with the original books, like the Tin Man being a villain, Oz ruled by a corrupt prime minister, the farmhands are abused, and there was a love triangle between Dorothy, the Scarecrow, and the Tin Man. But it's the characters people love. So if a character's got nowhere to go when he or she has a sex change or turns into a massive blue bloke in a thong, fear not, because... They'll drag you back into the flicks to tell you what was going on before that hit film happened. All about ass about face, if you ask me. So what was going on in 1983 when I was you? Gandhi won eight Academy Awards. And you had a leather fetish. All right. And this will be the first time I've seen Wizard of Oz. Well, don't watch Oz first, then. It'll balls it up for you. I don't want to upset the eight-year-old me, but there is a dark side to The Wizard of Oz. The original actor for The Tin Man, Buddy Ebsen, almost died of lead poisoning from his costume. He was replaced and suffered his whole life with health issues. And Judy Garland's long-time drug addiction and drink problems began on set. But apart from that, I think it all went swimmingly. And it's all documented in here. Doesn't make like reading. They say Star Wars is a Wizard of Oz substitute. Think about it. C-3PO as the Tin Man, Chewie as the Lion, Dorothy as Luke, and the Witch as Darth Vader. That must be the king of all prequel sequels. Sidney Lumet's musical belly flop had 35-year-old Dinah Ross as Dorothy and the King of Pop as the Scarecrow. Return to Oz was a dark fantasy directed by sound wizard Walter Murch. This one started with a mental asylum, Dorothy getting electric shock treatment, seeing her friends turn to stone and some terrifying kind of Starlight Express monsters. If classic films like The Wizard of Oz are to last another 70 years, beware the prequel. Because the wizard in the original Oz film was a mythical figure until his reveal at the end. So Oz kicks that myth in the sack, doesn't he? Cheers, mate. I know I'm on me arse, ruined on the scrap heap, but give little me a chance. Look out, house. Ouch! See you, Uncle Joe. Ta, oh, I had a really weird dream. You off to a fancy dress party again? Fair enough. It's no place like home. Thank <laughs> you.